All right, this is going to be update 1.1 for my door plugin. And the majority of this update is related to content as well as some small improvements and features related to, well, the content. So to give you a rough idea, now we actually have some audio. So I unlock the door, lock it, unlock, open, close. We actually have some audio playing as well as some improvements to how the events get triggered and a very simple function to control how our sound plays if we want to do it via code. So currently what comes in this update, we now have a proper door along with its materials and material instances. So we have the static mesh version if you want to go ahead and control it via code as well as the skeletal mesh which contains the corresponding animations. So if you want to use the skeletal mesh with code, you can do that as well very easily. So I'll just uncheck use animation and it'll work all the same, except it's being driven by code and not the animations in here. So that is one thing. Uh, so currently on this door, and this will be the plan for the rest of them as well, everything is animated. So, for example, whenever we unlock and unlock, it rotates the deadbolt. Same thing with opening and closing the door. Everything rotates as if it would on a real door. So now on to actually setting this up, and then we will take a look at the blueprint changes. So well, actually let's just click on our door out here. So now we have a new category called door sounds and this contains sounds for opening, closing, and the starting of the close. So when the door is open and it begins to close so you could have a sound for something like uh, the door sliding on a rug or a carpet for example. It's kind of like how I do because that's how I recorded these. Then we have an unlock and unlock sound and we also have this array here. So lock chain sounds, these are just an array of all the lock sounds, both well, lock changing sounds, so locking, unlocking that you want. So if you have a pack of these, you can just incorporate them all here and you can use these however you want. For example, there is now a function that I went ahead and added. So if I search for door, we can see it. It'll be get random lock sound. And what this function does, it returns a sound base pointer, well, a pointer to a sound base object, and that'll be one of these elements inside of this array. So it'll just randomly select from it and return it. So all we had to do, if we wanted to actually use this, for example, would just be plug it in like so, compile save, and now it'll play a random sound. So as you can see, for the beginning there, it alternated, and then it started sticking with the whatever sound it was actually doing. So that's how that function works. Now I also added this blueprint function here called play sound, and all it does is it makes sure the sound that you are trying to play is valid. If it is, we go ahead and play a sound at the door's location. So that just simplifies having to do that manually each and every time. And we can also have these set up to trigger in the animations themselves, uh, which I will show you how to do that in a second. And if you watched or used the version one of this plugin, you will notice that the events are changed and how they are set up. So there's no more binding of events or anything like that. There's just events that are actually triggered and called via C++. So whenever the door is finished rotating, this event here will run. Whenever the door state changes, such as it opens or starts to close, this function runs, or this event gets triggered. And same thing, whenever the lock gets toggled, this event gets triggered. And I just use these to play sounds. So you can use these to trigger whatever gameplay logic you want. So now let's move on to, let's say I wanted to uh, play a specific sound. And I will use the lock for this example. Let me just fly over here. That is a little bit sensitive. All right, 
So here we have our lock. So completely unlocked. We go and we lock. Let's say I want to trigger a sound that starts right when it plays. So all we have to do is under notify us right here. We can just right click, add a notify, play sound. Here we can just snap it to the beginning and let's add our sound cue. So I'm just going to search for lock and we have our door lock cue. So now when I play, as you can tell, every time it starts the animation, it'll play that sound. So I can go ahead and just disconnect all this kind of stuff. I'll disconnect the locked portion. So it's only going to play the locked sound and it will trigger the, or it'll, sorry, it'll play the unlocked sound and it'll play the locked sound from the animation. So as you can see, I just played it just there because I have it set to uh, play it on, or set to lock by default. And yes, I know the mannequin arm is wonky. Same thing with uh, parts of the legs and such. So now when I lock, I mean, I uh, unlock, now I can lock. It's playing via the animation. So that's another way you can set these up. So for the most part, that is all that is included in the version 1.1. It's mostly just a content update because I do want to have a, a more of a variation of actual content inside of the plugin that you guys can use. So I plan to have maybe two or three more doors along with different animations. And I want to include a couple other features such as I want to make a sliding door that is controlled just in the same way that this rotating door is and that kind of thing, and perhaps even things like double doors. So that is all stuff to be implemented in the future. But like the description says of this plugin, this is meant to be a very budget friendly, but fully featured door plugin that you can just drag and drop and alter to your liking or just leave it how you want and make everything incredibly simple to change simply via easy to use blueprint, well, toggles. So you have a bunch of different options, a bunch of different things you can choose for animations, and same thing, you can change how you want the door to be opened and closed via code. So that is all for this video. And I'm excited to announce, well, first 1.2 whenever that comes out. So as always, if you have any suggestions or something that you would like to see in this plugin that you think would be a good fit, please leave that suggestion in the comments below or in the questions category of the uh, marketplace or the reviews. And I will definitely take a look at it because I want this to be just have a quite a hefty feature set. So that way it's just a one stop shop for your doors. So yeah, take care.